Hello and welcome to zapyard.com. We are really excited to announce our next course that is S4 HANA MM for beginners and ABAP developers. This is an instructor led live paid online training. The trainer is an expert who has immense experience in teaching corporate participants. The target of this course is to provide the required concepts and do hands on exercises which will help all the participants to get the clarity of materials management and P2P that is procure to pay processes in S4 HANA. We will learn and do the configurations from scratch for the MM module of SAP and this will be a full hands on course for ABAP developers and beginners in SAP MM. Whether you are an experienced developer or a newbie in SAP. This will be a good curriculum for you to dive deep into SAP materials management. Just like any other modules of SAP, SAP materials management is a vast topic, but the trainer has curated this course in such a diligent way that it, is, it will provide you the right content at the right time. It is neither too little which will keep you wanting for more, nor it is too overwhelming which will leave you confused. We have taken special care to keep that balance. We will dive deep into the components of SAP MM. The trainer will explain the various organization units and how to map these units into the various SAP organization structures. Understanding the material master data and business processes is one important baby step to help us master any functional topic. The trainer will cover the material master, vendor master, purchase info records, source list and service master. Also, he will explain the different business processes like direct and indirect procurement, service, special and internal procurements. Whether you are an ABAP developer or a functional consultant, you should understand these essential terminologies used in SAP industry. If you have watched this video till now, then you would be curious to know what are we covering in this course. Like any other courses at ZAP Yard, we will create a strong foundation to dive deeper into the subject. We will explain the participants about organizational units, master data, transaction data, various theory tiles and tables in SAP MM and reports in SAP MM. Do not worry, this will not be the boring slides you see in other training institutes. We have put special effort and prepared this course to make everyone understand the complex SAP procure to pay topics in easily understandable form. We will dive deep into the SAP system and check each and every relevant components of SAP MM. Yes, in SAP S4 HANA system. The trainer will blend the concepts with the practical usages. By the end of the class, your fundamentals of organizational unit material master customization, field master control, vendor master customization, etc. should be crystal clear. Important topics like CVI or the customer vendor integration customization for business partner, procure to pre processes, inventory management and logistic invoice verification will be covered in depth. We have prepared special examples and demos which will help the participant learn these concepts easily and they will be able to remember and use it in the real projects. Did you assume that this is going to be like any other traditional training where the trainer will sing all the theory and leave? ZAPR takes pride in being different. We always mention that if there is no opportunity to provide hands-on practicals to the participants, we do not float those trainings. After all, anyone can read the books or go through the PPT. Live, online instructor-led training has to be special, interactive and more hands-on. Three quarters of this course will be hands-on practical. All participants will learn to create their own plant, storage location, purchasing organization and group. We are sure not many SAP MM consultants would have received that opportunity to create these components in real projects. The reason being, they are done by few chosen consultants who join the project during the blueprinting phase and do it during that period. After that, everyone else just uses them. But in this training, we will create all components of SAP MM from scratch. 
every participants will create their own master data and play with it. If the previous slide was exciting, then this slide and the slides following this will give you an adrenaline rush. Participants will learn how to assign the plan to the company code, assign purchasing organization to the plan and company code, define material types and number range, and finally create our first material master. Next, we will define the account group and number range. All participants would perform the customer vendor integration. This is one very important topic in S4 HANA. We will create our own business partner, service master, purchase info records and source list. And the trainer will explain where these components and units fit in the material management cycle. Procure to pay is used widely across different industry verticals and is the most important procurement process. It starts with the generation of a purchase requisition which is converted into purchase order and sent to the supplier. The supplier then dispatches the goods based on the quantity and delivery date specified in the purchase order. Upon receiving the specific supplied materials, the good receipt is posted and the supplier invoice is verified and posted. At the end of the P2P cycle, the invoice posting payment is processed. This is the high level procure to pay process, but within P2P, there are different scenarios and predefined procurement processes that can be customized to suit specific customer and business requirement. Direct, indirect service, subcontracting and internal procurement processes are some of the scenarios. All the procurement processes are sim similar in nature, but depending on what and how you are procuring, they can be distinguished from one another. The SAP system uses the item category to determine what can be procured and how procurement can be carried out. Direct procurement process is used for stock materials. Indirect material procurements are for consumable materials like the office supplies and spare parts. Service procurement takes place when a company hires a vendor for external service, which are tasks carried out by an external contractor. Subcontract procurement is different. It involves an agreement where you issue raw materials to the vendor and the vendor makes finished or semi-finished products from the raw materials and the finished product is then supplied back to you. Phew, too many terminologies, right? The trainer will discuss all these business scenarios, process steps and configuration steps of all the procure to pay business scenarios with real examples starting from creation of purchase requisition to invoice verification. You cannot afford to miss those classes. The purchasing functionality in SAP HANA contains a large number of standard reports that can be run on ad hoc basis. Before jumping to create custom reports or Z programs, a good MM consultant would always verify if a standard report is already available for the same and determine whether the standard reports will fit the client's purposes. Our trainer will showcase some common reports like the material list report, vendor report, PO report, stock report, and fury analytical report. The trainer will also explain the need and importance of these reports. The trainer will not only teach how to generate these reports, but also provide the relationship between each report and the behind the scene transactions and tables used in these reports. A web developer should know this source as more often than not they will need to enhance them. After the trainer covers the reports, he will show the corresponding T codes like MM60 for material list, MKVZ for vendor list, ME2N for purchasing documents, MMBE for stock overview, MV52 for warehouse stocks, etc. Before we end our course, we'll talk about the common SAP tables for MM module. The common ones are like MARA, MARC, BUT00, EBAN, EKKO, EKPO, etc. will be covered. And we believe most ABAP developers would already know about them. We will also throw some insight on the new S4 HANA tables like MADDOC and ACDOCA and how they are used. The trainer will let the participants know which tables are obsolete in S4 HANA. 
Our trainer and content development team have put lots of effort and time in curating this course and they will have they have not left any stone unturned to make it 100% useful for all participants be it SAP freshers or ABAP developers and if you are a developer who thinks he or she knows about SAP materials management you should join this course and evaluate your knowledge we are positive you will have lots of points to take home after this course and our hands-on exercise will add to the concepts you learn and boost your confidence about the SAP materials management module if you are working in any area of SAP you should surely enroll in this course you will definitely have long-term career benefits let us look into some important date time and other information the first day of the training is on august 7 2021 at 7 30 a.m ist this time is gmt plus 5.5 hours so if you are in europe africa or west asia you might not be able to join the live classes this time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinent, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. We are open for registration till July 21st, 2021 and the payment of fee and enrollment process should be complete by July 29th, 2021. The link to enroll for this training is in the description section of this video. Each class will be little over 2 hours and the whole course will be little over 20 hours. Recordings of the class will be provided after each live session and participants will have lifetime access to these recordings. The S4 HANA 1809 server access will be provided till September 30th, 2021. The server access is included in the training fee and you do not need to pay anything extra for it. Please check the description section of this video for the course fee and other details. There is no prerequisite for this course. Anyone who wants to learn S4 HANA material management can join this training. If you still have any questions or queries, feel free to WhatsApp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mail zapyard at gmail.com. Thank you very much. See you live on the training day.